My name is Camilla Nicholl and I'm the Chief Executive of the UK Antarctic Heritage Trust. I'm Professor David Vaughan, I'm Director of Science for British Antarctic Survey. Hello, I'm Jane Rumble, I'm Head of the Polar Regions Department at the Foreign and Commonwealth Office. Uh, I'll be giving a lecture about the history of Antarctica from its first discovery in 1820 right up until the initiation of the Antarctic Treaty in 1959. I'm going to talk about the Antarctic Treaty, how it came about, what its key functions are and why it's still important today. I'm going to be talking about a timeline of Antarctic science from the very first footprints on Antarctica, which actually occurred long before people arrived in Antarctica, to my predictions about what Antarctica will look like in a couple of hundred years' time. I think it's so important to look back at the last 200 years of human activity in Antarctica because it is chequered. There have been triumphs, but there's also been tragedies. Uh, humans have behaved well and poorly, and I think it's important to reflect on that, to learn from it, uh, so we can look to the future well-equipped to look after this precious place. We know that Antarctica is vital to our planet. It drives our oceans and it drives the atmosphere, so keeping Antarctica safe uh, peaceful uh, and available for scientists to study uh, is a key part of the Antarctic Treaty's remit. Antarctica as a continent is a long way away from us but actually it affects many of the things that we do even in the UK. It affects ocean circulation, it affects sea level rise. We have this amazing precious wilderness continent in our, on our planet and it is all our responsibility to look after it. We need to make sure that it remains peaceful so we can study it and understand what it means for the planet uh, and how we can protect and conserve it for future generations. 